Hello everybody, this is Chromos018, and this is going to be my thoughts and recap for Snow White with the Red Hair, episode uh, 6. As of this recording, for those of you who are fans of the show, I've only got 4 episodes left of the whole show. I'm already in season 2, I just finished recording episode 8, yeah episode 8, before I decided to stop for the day. Because I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish it today, and I didn't want to get to, like, the last episode and not be able to, you know, finish. So, next time I get to record, I will do that. Anyway, so yeah, I figured I'd let you guys know, you know, how far I've gotten in the show, for those of you who wanted me to watch it. And, yeah, in this episode we get to see Zen's big brother, finally. And it took six episodes to do so, but I was eventually shown, and... Yeah, he's not too fond of Zen and Shiryuki's close friendship. Because he essentially wants Zen to try and keep his distance with the commoners, though not so much so that he doesn't do anything to help them, you know, when the time comes. He doesn't he essentially doesn't think Shiryuki has a good enough status to be able to be that close to Zen. And he essentially warns her of this. After a meeting with him and Zen, with her behind a curtain. And, well, Zen knowing that she was there and pulling the curtain back. So, yeah. His big brother is... How do I put it? Slightly a jerk when it comes to trying to keep Shiryuki and Zen apart. But later on we find out... Essentially... Yeah, he essentially is just testing the two. But, yeah, that's for another episode. Anyway, not just in this episode, but uh, Prince Raj shows up again. Yeah, the douchebag prince from episode one shows up at Clarence Castle for a visit. And Zen has to be the one to greet him. And I imagine that Raj is freaking terrified that he is going to end up saying something that's going to implicate him of what happened before. And so, and he's also terrified of, obviously, of running into Shiryuki, because if he does, who knows what Zen would do to him. Well, they end up having a bit of a party in the garden, and Obi convinces Shiryuki to go and eavesdrop on it. They don't stay the whole time, uh, Shiryuki doesn't stay the whole time, or else she'd hear something very interesting. While Raj is talking with... Uh, Zen's brother, I can't remember what his name is. Is it really good to remember, remind me, because I don't remember right off the top of my head? Because Zen only refers to him as Lord Brother. I don't remember him actually using the guy's name, except I only heard it one time, one or a few times in passing. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, Raj ends up saying something very stupid and very not true, yet. That Zen and Shiryuki are engaged and going to be married. Well, things get awkward because thankfully by this point Shiryuki has already left. So she did not hear this. So yeah, Zen actively denies it because he hasn't even thought of his own feelings for Shiryuki, much less showed her any romantic feelings, much less even proposed. I mean, hello, they are close friends by this point in the show. Romance has not popped in yet. Either of their heads. And then it tells Raj this, that essentially they are not involved in any sort of way romantically. And Raj essentially tells him that if it comes to it, he could be the one to essentially end up marrying Shiryuki because he could provide for her. But, obviously, Zen shuts that idea up real quick. And Raj is going to end up staying there for a few episodes. So, yeah, we'll get to see that. But, yeah, this episode, I did not, at the first, when I watched it, I didn't know what to think of his brother. But, later on, as we get to know him, I, I'm impressed, to be completely honest. I figured his brother would be one of those jerky older brothers that... Is trying to keep 
like Zen from essentially being with Shariyuki, for example, just because she's a commoner and nothing else. And that's kind of the vibe he's kind of giving at this point, but it ends up changing later on. But yeah, that's what I was originally thinking that uh, he was going to be. My opinion changes over time. So, yeah, that's the main stuff that happens in this episode. I hope you guys enjoy the reaction, and I will see you all next time.